mystery guest in just a moment, but first, this message. And now, the special feature of the program, to which we've all become very used, so much so that the panel knows it has to be blindfolded, the appearance of our mystery challenger. The blindfolds are all in place, panel? Yes, sir. Yes. Good. Will you enter mystery challenger and sign in, please? panel, as you know, a different form of questioning. One question at a time, in turn moving clockwise, and we'll begin things with Phyllis Newman. Uh, everybody's laughing. I don't know whether there are a lot of you or, uh, I, 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 more than one. What's the matter? Yes. A lot of people there? What is a lot? More than one. <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you. Mr. Sir. Uh, does this mean there, there are two people? Yeah. Miss Francis. Well, the pro applause was so prolonged, could it be more than two people? No! <laughs> One down and nine to go, Woody Allen. Um, are you, uh, do you do something in the nature of, uh, vaudeville performing? Something in the nature of? This is... You know, like these two people come out... <laughs> Yes. Miss Newman. Uh, are you a, a, a husband and wife team? <laughs> no. <laughs> Two down and eight to go, Mr. Sir. May I gather that you're two gentlemen? Well. <laughs> two men. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Miss Francis. Well, now, are you, uh, you're, are you stand-up comedians? Not now! <laughs> <laughs> well, we would have to agree they stand up a good deal of the time, wouldn't we? Why are sober? Mr. Allen? Oh, I, uh, um, are you urbane, sophisticated wits? <laughs> <laughs> Seven down and three to go. Is 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 one? I can't talk tonight. <laughs> I know. <laughs> is one short and fuzzy and the other tall and handsome? Yes. <laughs> I, I mean, short, fuzzy, and handsome, and the other one tall. Yeah. Now you're in good stead. Sort of. Yeah. Are you Alan and Rossi? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great Marty's fun. father, Woody Allen. There, yeah. <laughs> be on the same show. By the way, uh, Woody, I saw uh, "Don't Drink the Water" it was marvelous. Oh, thank you. Just That's funny. I thought they were the Smothers Brothers. For a minute. <laughs> We've been taking the funniest thing happened. We, they took us around the back in the alley, and as a there must have been uh, was a woman waiting, uh, probably to sign autographs, and she let out a scream. I said. Oh, excited? She says, that's the first time I ever saw a Brillo pad walking. <laughs> How do you like the hat, Woody? Where'd you get that hat? It's flattering. Also one of the, uh, you know, I was thought maybe if I disguised myself, you wouldn't like it. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like it's stolen from a rabbi. <laughs> yeah, <You're> reformed. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. But these two nuts are going to open tomorrow in the Royal Box, and New York City will be a much much more of a fun city than it is usually. The Royal Boxes of the Americana. Yeah, yeah. Americana. I'd like to see these are These are wonder, wonderful, wonderful folks. It's a pleasure. You know, I was... Just errant things come tracing back into the mind. I read a piece not too long ago. That actually, you two started working together because Nat King Cole suggested yes, it. it was... Right? Uh, it's approximately eight years as of now that uh, was made possible through the late, great Nat Cole that we were brought together. Steve was a production singer at the Sands Hotel, and I'd worked with Nat 
on numerous occasions on concerts, and we were very good friends. You were on the cleaning staff? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might say that. I helped pick out a lot of his hits. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Steve happened to remark to him that he was tired of just being a production singer, working with 25 of the most beautiful showgirls. I wanted 35. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's his whole life. And so... Uh, he told Matt he liked to do an act. He liked to do an act. Shirley Temple. <laughs> <laughs> you better laugh at me. I pay your bills. All right. <laughs> and that's how it actually started. Well, well, it was a great thing that it happened. I've mm -hmm. seen them as I know Bennett and Arlene, and I guess Woody and Phyllis, you have two of the banshees, we especially when the bands. editors are in town and they stand up. Oh, I love up, to do that. Music. And well, they just fall out of their chairs. <laughs> Thank you, you want because they, they've got the great talent for topical humor, which is great. Thank you. Jim. Wonderful to Pleasure. have you both with us, and thanks very much for coming. Thank and you. Lots of luck for you. Thank 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 you. Th